I am a very curious person, so when I'm studying microlearning, I do a lot of research, and one of those very interesting research I did was to talk with a group of mechanics in a very large a spaceship company, you know, so aerospace. And I just asked them a quick question. So we call this uh, my story as the my screw story. So I asked them, what happens if you are adding an, uh, a screw in an equipment and it doesn't work? And it's, you know, very advanced screw into an equipment. And they, the guy was saying, yeah, well, let's try it again over and over again. And if it doesn't work, what else do you do? Well, I want to make sure that it's the right, right screw to the right equipment. So I go back and forth and check, maybe I go check the manual. And if I still couldn't figure it out, I asked the other guy who was responsible for the equipment on what he did differently so that this will work. And if not, I go look at the supplier, call up the supplier and say, what's wrong with the screw? It doesn't work. Did you send us the wrong batch of parts? It might be a defective part. So as I move along in here, you notice that I have done a focus on trying to do work. My work is I'm putting, putting up the screw, but at the same time, I am learning in different ways how to solve the problem, to fix, to solve, but improve this problem. I go check the manual, I go check the other employee, I go check the supplier, I go check uh, my boss, I check everybody else until I get an answer. That's the environment of micro learning. And when we design for this, it's so different from when the person is at school trying to learn a definition of a screw into an equipment. That's a recreated world. Here, where the person is in here, that's a real world. Two major different in assumptions, background, and environment.